another empties video i swear this is literally like the third or fourth one i'm filming this year which is quite a lot um of empties product videos to be filming already in the year considering that means i have to finish products completely and i don't want to concern anybody but look how many products i have in this bag like that's actually not even funny considering how many of these videos i film like some people end up with this amount of empty products because they've been saving up for like two years so i don't exactly know what's happened but we've got you know products that i've actually had for quite a long time in here so i haven't used these up within like the last few weeks you know I don't use products up really quickly. I take, you know, sometimes years. So, you know, there's stuff in here. It just happened to all run out at the same time. So basically in this video, I'm just gonna state whether I like the product or not. So is it good or bad? Why? And would I repurchase? First up, I have a couple of, well, I've got a shampoo and conditioner and it's kind of getting wet everywhere. Um, but this is the L'Oreal Elvive Nutri Gloss Shine Shampoo. I don't think I'll get this again purely for the fact that I don't really like kind of like shine giving products when it comes to my hair. I like my hair to have a little bit more texture so it's a bit more volumized. For example, today I plaited my hair at night and usually my hair will be really volumized, which it is still, you know, quite volumized, but it wasn't as much because I think I'd use this. So yeah, but it's run out now, but I won't repurchase that. I then also have this. This is the L'Oreal LV Extraordinary Oil Weight Loss. Weight, weight loss. Weightless Nourishing Conditioner. This is super, super, super nourishing for your hair and makes your hair really nice and like glossy and soft. So these two do go quite nicely together, despite the fact they're not in the same range. But I just don't think they're suited to kind of like what i'm looking for in hair products i also have a hair mask from garnier this is the ultimate blends coconut and macadamia hair mask i do really like this i would repurchase you know anything from this range because i think their hair masks are really nice it smells super nice and made my my hair really nice and soft i do occasionally use hair masks just to make my hair you know soft every so often because it is nice to have soft hair but sometimes when i do my hair like this you know i don't want that so i wouldn't use a hair mask if i'm about to do um like a volumizing kind of hairstyle i have this so this is my um Zaflora. this is the pink grapefruit one i'm obsessed with Zaflora. if you didn't already know love it the minute i've got a small spring scented one it's bluebell woods i think i'm gonna get through as many different scents as i can one after the other but i use this one up loves the flora would highly recommend if you love cleaning you will love this and this particular scent is really nice would i repurchase this particular scent yes i would then i have this so this is the activated no no, this is the activated charcoal nose pore strips. These are literally like £1.50 or something for six strips off Amazon. And I got free delivery, Amazon Prime the next day. What a winner. Like to me, that was a bargain, but I don't know if they still sell them, but I love doing a nose strip like once every couple of weeks. So love those. Would I repurchase? Yes, because this is my second like one of these. So I already have repurchased them. Oh, I then have another couple of shampoos and conditioners. So this is the like, Ma I think it says Maui, Maui Moisture Hair Care. I've got the shampoo and conditioner. They come like in a range. These are sold in Tesco's and probably other places as well but this is where i saw them they have loads of different kind of ones like this in different colors meant for like different you know things to do with your hair so if your hair's colored or if you've got dry hair or like a greasy hair that kind of thing this one is just for all hair types my mum did get me this for i think christmas and they lasted me a really really long time so a little definitely goes a long way they make your hair feel really soft and i do actually miss using these because now i've used like different shampoos since then and different conditioners i do actually kind of miss using these two so yeah i really like these but they are a little bit on the pricier side i think they're like nine pounds each which is just ridiculous i wouldn't spend that kind of money but it was a nice treat to have for christmas i then have this spray which is a room spray yes this is a very random empties video this is from w5 which i believe is from lidl i think and this is the lavender room spray i didn't think that i would like kind of the smell of this but this was the only one that they had and the reason is it's because lavender is just hit or miss scent i personally think and especially for me like some things that smell like lavender just just 
reminds me of things that I don't like. I don't know why, um, but I really liked this. So um, I do have to say I did quite like this. And I like the, like the spray, like the tube itself. Do you know what I mean? It's just nice. It's not a tube but you know what I mean, the bottle. I have this, so this is the Nivea Fresh Blends um, like shower gel, it's watermelon and um, mint and coconut milk. This was so nice, I think this is new. Yeah, it says it's new. I really liked this and it's just a shower gel but it actually stood out for me as like a really good one and I think it was the smell of it that I really liked and it lathered up really nicely and yeah, all around, this is a great product and I really liked this and yes, I will be getting this again because I do like this. Oh, and um, I would buy this again by the way in case you was wondering. Okay, this here is the Body Shop um, Chamomile Cleansing Balm. Now, I haven't used this in absolute months since I brought out my own cleansing balm, which I sell on my Etsy and eBay, which will be linked in the description if you're interested. I'm actually doing a packaging change on quite a lot of my products, but you'll see that in a video coming like next week or the week after. I had quite a lot of this left over and I didn't want to use it because I just wanted to use my own one. So I just left this chilling in the cupboard for a while. But then I thought, you know what, Georgie, you should probably use this up before it goes bad. And it had already started to go bad and like a little bitty and stuff. I don't know why, probably from heat or something. I used it up. Um, I don't really want to give a review of this because actually I do. When I compare this to mine, you know, obviously the Body Shop is a well-established brand and they have like great products and everything. And this is formulated, you know, with all of the kind of like skills that they have do you know what i mean like this is obviously going to be considered to be better than mine because i just make mine by myself i don't have you know all the skills but i personally prefer mine just because this for some reason and i don't know why stings my eyeballs and i don't know why that happens i think it just melts like too much and it just seeps into my eyes and um, so i never get along with this too well but yeah i thought i would just say that that was quite a long discussion i am a I am um, going to apologise about that. Oh my God, this is definitely a miss. Um, this has actually got quite a lot of product in it, um, but this is from Nivea. It's the Body Moisturising Mousse, and this is cucumber and matcha tea. This burns, I don't know why, but this literally burns my skin. Like I would just use this like as a shower gel to wash my body. And yeah, it literally felt so warm, like a burning sensation and I don't know why. And yeah, I just thought I can't continue to use this, but I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna finish it up and then I'll move on to something else because it wasn't giving me a rash or anything. I looked online and other people have said the same thing. So it's not just me. And then it stopped working. So it actually stopped dispensing foam and it got up to here. So this is an absolute no-no. Would I recommend it? Definitely not. Do not go and buy that. But then again, I do also have to just put a disclaimer in, everyone experiences products differently. So if something works for you that doesn't work for me, then just continue to use it. Don't just take my opinion for it. Right, we also have this. So this is a product from the Body Shop. This is the Petal Soft Gel Toner. I um, I'm kind of at the end with this, so I could continue using this a little bit more. Um, but the thing I don't like about this kind of at the end is that all the petals that are in it just kind of gather at the bottom. And then when you use the product, they're all over your face. That's irritating and annoying and I don't like it. But um, the actual toner itself is super nice. It's very hydrating and plumping to the skin and like it gives a nice glow. So this is a great product. I just don't like the aspect of the petals that it has in it. We have another shampoo. This is from Lidl. It's the ultimate volume shampoo. This is actually one of my favorite shampoos that I've ever tried and I really, really like this. And I would recommend it if you're the kind of person like me that wants a little bit more volume in your hair. I will be repurchasing this 100%. Next up, we've got the Body Shop Firming Shaping Essence Lotion. This isn't really targeted at my like age range. It's more kind of for like slightly older than me, maybe even like 40 plus but or more. I got it free when I did the Body Shop at home. And yeah, I like this. It's nice and plumping to the skin, but because I'm young, I won't be able to see any of like the benefits from using this product. So I can't give a review, I am very sorry. Um, but no, I won't be repurchasing that. Oh, Himalayan charcoal face mask. This is an absolute winner. This is a great face mask. I probably won't repurchase this for quite some time, but if you've tried this, you'll know why it's really nice. The good thing about this product is like the smell of it, first of all, is really nice. And the fact that it's a clay mask, I love clay masks. And it just really feels like it's cleansing your skin when it's on, like you just have that kind of feeling. I won't be repurchasing that because I've got a new product coming out soon on my Etsy and eBay that 
is a charcoal mask and it doesn't look anything like this and it is completely different to this but i have just been obsessed with that like literally it is my favorite face mask i've ever used the one that i'm not going to be bringing out very shortly and i look i'm just i'm just so happy with it and i cannot wait to put it on my etsy and ebay because i've been using it so much so i just can't see myself like buying um like a mask especially one that has the word charcoal written in it when i've got my own but if i didn't have that one then yes i would repurchase that <laughs> my feet are numb i swear i say this in every video so this is from boots this is the um vitamin c brightening moisturizing cream this is a nice moisturizer and it gives really glowy skin i've had this for quite some time months and months and months i finally used it up and yeah it is nice very glowy would i repurchase this um i don't think i would but if I didn't, you know, discontinued my own gel moisturiser that I sell on my Etsy and eBay, then yes, maybe I would repurchase this because it is cheap and it's a good moisturiser for the price. I've already filmed a video before this um, video and my, my knees are really giving way. It's basically like sitting on your knees for like an hour straight. If I'm talking quickly, it's because I'm trying to get this video over with. A cup of tea, anybody got a cup of tea? Right, let's carry on, do a few more products and then we can have another break. Okay, I've got my camera. Sorry about that. My camera decided um, just to turn off. Um, yeah, Sugar Crush. This is the Sugar Crush Body Butter from Soap and Glory. Um, this is just a little kind of sample thingy or just a small pot. I really like the smell of this. I think for me, the smell of this is just reminding me of like years and years ago when I had something that smelled similar. Love this. Um, probably wouldn't buy it again because it's just a body butter, but I do really like it. We have a deodorant from Lidl. Don't really need to review this, do I? But I like it and I would buy it again. Body spray from So and uh, what fragrance is this? I was gonna say what flavor, but you don't really eat it, do you? Well, hopefully not anyway. I don't know, but it looks like this and it smells really nice. I do have to say. Oh yeah, there's still a little bit left in it, but yeah, I really like the smell of this. And then, sad times, um, my hyaluronic acid ran out. So this is the Skin Diva hyaluronic acid kind of serum. I did work with them on a video and they also sent me another product which was a vitamin C serum. I still have that and I'm still using that. I have actually replaced this product with a hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary which I showed in a previous vlog that I filmed. I think it was my last video that I posted and yeah I picked that up because it's just super cheap but I did really like this and I realised through using this product how important hyaluronic acid is for like skin hydration and soft skin and plump skin and it just makes such a difference i had a patch um, of time where my skin was so so dry and honestly this in combination with my other like hydrating products just made so much difference and yeah i would highly recommend you know looking into hyaluronic acid if you've got dry skin um i've got a heat protect from tresemme this is a nice one i don't know if it's got a specific name but yeah this is just a heat um a heat defense spray is that right um and i like this and i have another bottle i would repurchase because it was a nice cheap price for some reason this bottle looks grim around the edges but this is the body shop vitamin c glow boosting microderm abrasion this product is great if you like scrubs which i used to be very much into scrubs and it really does get in there and scrub your skin but i've seen a lot of stuff online that scrubs kind of create micro tears on your face um specifically and that you know you should really use acids instead so i did actually buy the peeling solution from the body shop for that so i don't know i just didn't feel too comfortable using that i did finish it and i did use it it is quite expensive it is 18 pounds it's a great product if you like scrubs um because it really does scrub your face but um, I've just been seeing a lot of stuff about um, scrubs not being too great for your face. Um, body, fine, but your face um, is so gentle. So yeah, don't know about that. This is just a spray from Poundland. It lasted me ages. It's um, just a perfume body mist, it says, and it says Lily Blush. So yeah, it was literally a pound. If you, you know, like me and you like cheap stuff, just go over to Poundland and get a pound um, fragrance and uh, you won't regret it. Pen face mask. This is the overnight nourishing rescue mask. This is super nice for getting really soft skin. I have actually found other face masks that I actually prefer to this 
when it comes to like skin hydration from Revolution. There is a really nice avocado face mask that they do, which I would probably um, recommend that one as well. But this does also um, work really nicely and it's a great product. A look at the color of this label. That is like my favorite color. And um, yeah, it's a great product. It makes your skin super soft and I can vouch for that 100%. Dry shampoo from Lidl, good. Nothing more I can say. Yes, I will be buying that. Collection Press Powder. I have finished this and I will be repurchasing this at some point. I always buy cheap powders because um, we're here for the cheap stuff. I have this. This is the Garnier Pure Active Daily Deep Pore Wash Anti-Blemish and Shine. Um, very long name, um, but this has got like little scrubby bits in it. So it was kind of nice as like a gentle kind of daily scrub as well as a wash. And I liked it for that real clean feeling of your skin. But I have now started using the Body Shop Lemon um, Purifying Facial Wash. And that is like a two in one. It's softening to your skin and cleansing at the same time. So I really love that one. And I don't think I will um, get this one again, but it is nice. It is nice. Right, we've got a few makeup -y bits and then we're finished. I really wanted to get through all of these products quickly because I want to chuck them out. Like you can just imagine that having a massive bag like this full of empty products is a little bit like strange to just have sitting in your flat, but now I can chuck them. Mascara from Lidl. This is just the um, volume mascara in the shade black and this came with a, an eyeliner, which I personally really love. It was like two pounds something for this and the eyeliner. Well worth the money just for the eyeliner by itself. Really love that. Um, but this was a good mascara. It wasn't like amazing, but it wasn't terrible. It was, it was, it was nice for the price. Collection, Lasting Perfection Concealer, super full coverage and some might say it is a tad cakey, but not really. Like, I think this is just great as a concealer in general. And um, I, they repackaged it. It used to look very different, but I really like this and I will be 100% buying it in the future. I've got an eyeliner from Rimmel. Um, I think it's drying up now. I can't remember too much about this, but I've recently got into using gel as like an eyeliner in like a little pot and drawing it on with a brush. And that is so much easier. Um, so I won't be rebuying that. And then I also have this eyeliner from Beauty Big Bang, which, yep, yeah, absolutely terrible. It's a pen. I hate pen eyeliners because they just run out so quickly, or at least the cheaper branded ones do. And I, I just don't like them because, because of that reason. Um, and this one in particular, I did not like and will not get. I did actually get sent this by the brand, by the way. I didn't buy it in the first place anyway. Um, but yeah, that is the, it. That is it for this video and for everything that I have recently used up. I cannot wait to throw all this stuff out. Um, apart from the fact I will be keeping the empty body shop products for my body shop videos that I do. Yeah, thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for a variety of different content on this channel. And I will see you in my next video, which will be on Friday at 9 a.m. for a little everyday makeup look. See you then.